so hello friends so in this video tutorial we will learn about how to create a donor chart dashboard and how we can use it and find out details of salesman you can either find out sales uh, date of salesman even store or even uh, your uh, items so according to that you can make a donor chart but in this case we are making according to salesman sales so let's see how we can make a donor chart so stay with us so first of all we have a data here which include date salesman item units price sales and store so now this data need to be converted into a pivot table to converting into pivot table we click on date here to create into power pivot table one thing need to be clear our data need to be uh, well clean and there should be no null value and all data should be in a format in a proper format and in a proper column so now we go to the date and just go to insert and from insert we will click on this pivot table uh, from table range and from the um, from pivot table we have to click on from table range after clicking on from table range it will select our table complete table and then i will go to ok now we have our data here so i will just click on salesman so salesman will be in the row column i will keep the i will change its name to salesman so i will write down salesman here then i will click on our sales here is our sales okay i will again go over this and then click over sales so now sales is also there and the next thing i will click over our items so i will keep this item in the filter option so according to item it can show a sale also like sales of lady sandals sales of shoes regular sales of sports shoes whichever product we need we can have a sales of particular item so i will take all this time and now i will convert this data into percentage so sum of sales will be converted into percentage so i click here and go to show value as percentage of grand total so it will be converted into grand total then i will click here and then go to number format and we have to remove its decimal point so in number format i will keep it this to zero and press ok so now our number are in decimal is removed and they are 20 to 21 these are the percentage so we remove the decimal then we will go here then equal to and press one from our keyboard and what we need to do we need to uh, find out the remaining percentage of this what for how like what is the remaining out of that so that will be there. so if you will click here then the formula complete formula will be added like we are using the pivot table here so we do, we do not need to do that so we have to find out what in which cell this uh, like this percentage is done so it is written is b4 so we'll write down here b4 and then press enter so we have percentage of this now i will drag this till here so we have this percentage remaining percentage of each sales now we will create a donut chart from this to creating a donut chart we will go to insert and in insert here we have a donut chart in your system it may be in a different place because it depends upon the version i am using excel 2019 so my is here and then i will go to the donut so it is a blank at the moment i do not selected anything then i will go to right click and then i will go to select data after clicking on select data it will ask about chart date range that is nothing at the moment so i will go and legend entry series i will press on add and after clicking on add it will ask about series name we do not need to give any series name at the moment so i will just type 120 time here so 1 comma 1 comma 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 
and then I will press OK. So now we have a 20. Our donut chart is divided into 20 segments and then press OK. Now we have to remove this so I will just go to the chart title and delete this. Then I will go to this part where we have a series name. So I will just click on there outside and just delete it. We don't need this. Now I will go to the format and in the format button I will go to shape fill and here I will put no fill. Then I will go to shape outline then I will go no outline. Now I will again click on my donut and then right click and go to format data series and this time in this series option donut whole size we have to just increase this size so it look more beautiful and then I will go to this uh, where we fill this is basically for coloring the chart and I will give it a color this color I will give it so this will be in a green color then I will reduce its size so because we need more chart also so this is our first chart then I will control C and control V sorry control Z I will right click and copy and click here and press another chart here so I have a five salesman here right click paste this is another one right click paste this is another one right click paste this is our five charts now what we need to do I will click here as in second one I will click on second one and change its color so we need different colors for different charts here I will give this color I will click on this again and this time I will give some other color again fill and I will give some other color here and the color will be we can take this color and again and here I will take another color color can be as per your choice whatever color you need you can put that color now this is for your salesman Amit so I will put down and write Amit here equal to I will click on A4 I will just type A4 here so this is Amit here I will go equal to I will type A5 equal to A6 and I will also do one thing also after this equal to then I will say A7 equal to a8 so we have name of each and every salesman here we can bold it whatever you like I will just keep it bold make it bold I will select all of them and just press bold so we have a name of your salesman here and then I will put one thing more here their sales also just in front of them equal to b4 then i will go here equal to b5 then i will go here equal to b6 equal to b7 and equal to b8 now what we need to do we need to go to this chart first and then right click and then select data and from here I will press add now we have another circle now we have to give a series name here series name will be Amit here so I just put click on Amit and then in the series value I have to give the values which are in front of Amit which are 22 and 78 percent so now we have an another circle here so I will just click on this and press ok now we have to click on the circle which is outside and again we have to press right arrow key sorry right button from our mouse and this time I will click on change chart type and this time I will take Amit and this circle will be above the first circle and press ok 
so this way now we have to remove this the above one so I click over this and then I will take here no fill so above the, the below uh, donut is now showing and then I will click on this area and here I will take solid fill and take the color white and then I will increase the transparency to somewhere around 50 I will keep it 50 so it is visible so now we can say that is the 22 percent out of 100 so this way we have created this chart then I will go to second one same same step will be followed here you just click check it out select data add series name is Kuldeep and series values are same which are in front of this then ok ok click on outside chart change series type and click here and ok now I will go here first part and then I will take solid sorry not solid no fill and then I will go to second part and here I will take solid and then I will take white color then I will increase this transparency to 50 this is our second chart and this is the information which we have then I will go to third chart right click select data add in the series name I will put Mohit here and in the series value whatever value we have of Mohit we will put there ok then ok click on outside area then change series type click on Mohit so that it will be above our series 1 chart now it is this then I will click on this area solid sorry no fill then I will go to this next part solid and take it white and increase this transparency to 50 somewhere around this is our Mohit chart then I will go to Raga click here again same thing same thing right click we have not selected it so I will just select it again right click select data add Raghav then I will go there and take all the details press ok ok outside area clicking right change data type click on Raghav that so that it will be above that then I will have to click this area no fill then I have to click in this area solid and then I have to take white color and thus increase its uh, transparency similarly in Suraj I will go here right click select data type we are just repeating our steps we are just repeating our step add series name Suraj and now here I will put this area and ok ok now outside chart right click change data source donut and press ok so that it will be above that this area now double click so that we can we can see the color here then we will take no fill so the chart which is uh, the donut chart which is below that that will be a pair then this area solid and again we have to take white color and increase its transparency to a minimum 50, 40, 50 so now we have all the chart ready with us so now whatever changes we will make according to that it will show the item like if you will say first item and click ok so it will show the sales of a particular item also regular so it will change the information according to that so all the information will be changes according to whichever product we are taking here so this is a way we can create a chart and now we can give more information here we can put a slicer also here 
okay so for keep putting the slicer i what we can do we will click here and go to view and we will in uh, uh, change some uh, or thing like grid line we can improve uh, uh, remove the grid line so this time we have removed the grid line from the chart so no grid line will be there and second thing we can we can put a slicer also i click over here pivot charts and give a slicer so i put a slicer here and then i will give a slicer of your stores we can give a slicer of a store here and press okay so we have a store slicer is also here so if we want to uh, know about according to the area like which store we have make a sale that will be there we can keep it in more better way so this gives us more information about our chart if we will remove this that will show about all so we could keep it here somewhere in here so we have a store here and more slicer we can give just click over this pivot chart will be there and insert timeline we can take a date here and press okay so according to date it will also give according to month we can find out the sale like we, this is basically for 2 years okay so if you will go to 2002 and then it will ask about quarters quarterly sale so it can give us up about the quarterly sales what is the sale in the quarter 1 there is no sale quarter 2 so whatever information is there according to that it will give us the information so we have created a dashboard of donut chart which give us lot of information about our if you want to remove this you can remove that also and yearly days months like if you want to take according to month it will give according to month also like for a particular month december like january there is no sale for a, for february like march if we increase that will show us some sales i think we have done most sale in our january 2001 so that's why it is showing the data of 2002 we don't have much data so that's why it's not showing if we'll go to our data and see till the end so we have sale till 2000 like is 2021 only so in 2022 we don't have sale it is showing 2022 but we have sales only of 2021 months so we can take according to months also what sales we have make and if you want to increase it we can increase it also and quarterly we can also find the sales so that's all from this video thank you very much for watching this video